What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I have not posted as often as I said I would and that's because I am super busy, life goes on, and I have other things going on to this channel and yeah. But I do try to get to each and every one of you. I do, I, I believe I answer every single comment. Sometimes I don't even see it populate until like a week later, which is weird. But uh, when I see it, I do answer each and every one of you. But this video is specifically for another viewer. He needs help with his transmission on the Chevy Avalanche. I believe it's the 4L60E. Let's get right into it. Now, the question comes from the viewer. His YouTube name is called The Black Man. Or if I'm saying that wrong, it is The For Bluffock Mafon. Because there's a four in between everything. But uh, yeah. So anyway, um, he has a 2004 Z66 cammed. Transmission does not shift into fourth. He rebuilt it and replaced all the clutches. It did not fix the issue. Replace the solenoid kit, still nothing. Check the fuses and still nothing. Any ideas? Would really like to get my truck back on the road. Could it be a valve body issue? And thanks. Now, um, he's also a full-time mechanic and he has the time to fix it, but it's becoming an issue. Um, he wanted to send it off to the trans shop. Uh, but he's looking to see if maybe we can help him on the channel and guys if any of you have any ideas on this Because I'm gonna spew out a, a few of my own. I did some research um, Please leave it in the comment section below and let's help him out now. Um, I Wrote down a few uh, ideas of what it could be did some research search talk to some people uh, Who actually specialize in these things and they did give me some ideas because they saw some things like this um, So one thing it could be is low fluid uh, when you rebuilt it, did you put in the proper amount of fluid? You remember there's fluid in the torque converter. That's going to hold an awfully, uh, awful lot of quartz. I don't remember how much. It could be 13 quartz, 14 quartz. I'm not sure exactly because I've never really did a full flush. I have did the drain and refills. Um, but you can find that on the, um, uh, on the um, owner's manual and it'll tell you. And uh, if it is, if the fluid is good... Then we can move on to the next thing. Did you scan for any codes? Is there a, which is most common codes, P0734, or you'll get some ratio error codes, which is 68, 85, or 86. Um, those are some codes that can help you out. That means that the valve body actuator uh, feed limit bore is wearing out. Um, so there's a bore that wears out and it makes the valve body unusable. Yeah, unusable. Um, they they sell a repair kit for this, which I will leave in the link in the description below for you. So it's like a little um, spring action thing in the valve body, and it does wear out. They sell a repair kit, which is like a drill to drill it in a little bit bigger, put in the sleeve, and then rebuild it right then and there. Or you can do another thing, which is way easier. Just buy a new valve body and throw it in. Most likely, your problem is that that... Um, uh, the uh, feed limit bore thingy wore out and um, that's what's causing your issue. A lot of the, the people I spoke to, even people who worked at Chevy told me that's majority, majority of the time that's one of the common issues in them. They just wear out over time and you can either get the repair kit which they do sell and I'll leave that in the link in the description below or somewhere up here as well. Or you can just buy a whole new valve body and throw it in. I hope that actually does fix your issue. Now, guys, um, I don't know much about transmissions, really. Can I rebuild them? I can do anything that I put my mind to. That's the kind of mindset that I have. Um, I do want to do a video of rebuilding one one of these days, which would be really, really cool. But uh, I'm not really a transmission expert, so I don't really know much. But these are just my thoughts and um, things that I've gathered from people who have done transmission, who have, who are specialized in transmissions, and these are the ideas that they gave me. I've also did some research on the internet to see if I can help you figure this out. Um, it, it seems like you rebuild a lot, so it shouldn't be the clutches or anything. Just double check that your fluid's good, and um, if anything, just drop that valve body and check to see if it's worn out, man. Uh, Guys, if you all have any ideas, please leave it in the comment section below for him. I know this video is super short and it's long overdue for you. Um, but, uh, Black Man, I hope this helped you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, you know. And, um, 
keep me up to date. Let me know what's going on with it. I'd like to learn something new. If I was wrong, let me know I was wrong. Um, I love learning a lot more, so just please keep me up to date with everything that you're doing. And with that being said, I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Make sure you clean your hands, and uh, peace.